welcome to another session of Let's Learn German. I hope you revised the contents of the previous sessions and you are ready to learn something new. If you remember, in the previous sessions, we did the third case called the Dartip case, which is also called the indirect object case. Now, let us do another concept in Dartip, which is the possessive article. <laughs> You are already familiar with the concept of possessive article. You know that possessive article is used to show the possession of a noun by another noun. So we know that how possessive article changes its form from nominative to accusative in all the pronouns. Now let us look at the ending of the possessive article in dative. <laughs> Now, let us look at the pronouns here, which are ish, du, er, es, sie, 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 wir, ihr. Well, you are already familiar with these pronouns and you already know that certain pronouns like ish, du, er, es, sie belong to the singular case as well as the Z here, which is written with the big S and also small z which is the z here as well as the z here via ear belong to the plural part. Now let us look at the possessive article of these pronouns in dative. For masculine we have the possessive article meinem. For feminine we have the possessive article meiner. For neutral we have the possessive article meinem and for plural we have the possessive article meinen. You know that for ish we make the possessive article with mein and if you remember from the previous tables of dative the ending am is also here. So if we have the article there when it converts to dative it becomes dem in the same way mein becomes meinem. In the same way d becomes there in dative so minor becomes minor. Ne neutral mein from nominative becomes minem to dative and minor which is in plural nominative becomes minen in dative plural. The same rule applies to all the other possessive article. For example, for du we have dynem, for feminine diner, for neutral dynem and for plural dynen. For masculine and as well as for neutral pronouns, we have seinem, seiner, seinem, seinen. Here, for the feminine singular pronoun as well as for the plural pronoun in the third person, we have erm, erer, erm, eren. And for the Z here, which is the second person singular, and the Z here, which is second person plural, we have ERM, ERR, ERM, ERR. Also, at this place, I would like to remind you again that the size of I is dependent on the size of S. If S is small, I is small. If S is big, I is also big. And for the pronoun wir, we have the possessive article unserem, unserer, unserem, and unseren. And for ihr, we have eurem, eurer, eurem, euren. Now, if you see, the ending for all the masculine possessive article as you know is the same and it is same for the neutral article also. So we have minum and minum in for the ish, dynam and dynam for du and for er and s we have zainam here as well as zainam here and for z and z also we have erm and erm and for here also we have erm and erm and for via 
we have unzerem unzerem and for ia we have oirem and oirem also for the feminine article we have the ending ar so for ish we have minor for du diner for rs zainer for zz erer for zz erer with capital i for via we have unzerer and for ear also we have oirer and if you see for plural we have the ending an or en which is common for all the possessive article here for example meinen deinen seinen ihren ihren with capital i unseren euren now to start with the example please look at this sentence number 1 Was schenkst du Bruder zum Geburtstag? Now we know that the verb schenken includes a dative here, and also we have the nominative. So we have to first write the dative possessive article, which is based on the pronoun du, and for the dative possessive article here would be deinem Bruder zum Geburtstag. Now let us look at sentence number two. Be a Gaben Lehrerin, the house of Gaben. Here we have to write the possessive article based on the pronoun Bea, and it is unzerer. Why do we write unzerer? Because it is the Lehrerin, and in dative you know the becomes there, and the possessive article also takes the ending, so unzerer becomes unzerer. Here in sentence number three. Z schreibt Kindern eine Karte. Now here again we write the possessive article in dative based on the pronoun, which is ihren. Now we wrote ihren because here we have the dative object in plural, which is marked by n Kindern children. And here we know in possessive article the plural ending is a n or n as you can see. So we write ihren. Now let us look at sentence number four. Zeigt ihr Eltern die Stadt? Here we have the pronoun ihr, and we know that with ihr we make the possessive article in dative euren. Why? Because we have here Eltern, which means parents in plural, and the dative ending in plural for the article is n or an, as you know. Now let us look at sentence number five. Meine Mutter erzählt Kindern ein Märchen. Now here, meine Mutter, which means my mother. Now here we don't have a pronoun, so we have the noun, and we can easily deduce that meine Mutter erzählt meinen Kindern, my children, a fairy tale. Now, my mother narrates a fairy tale to my children. Now here we have deduced that the answer is meinen based on the possessive article which is given here, which is the accusative. Now, before we finish, let us mark the other parts, other cases in this sentence. So we have in the first sentence, "Was schenkst du?" which is nominative, "Deinem Bruder," that is dative, and we have the accusative "was." Now, in sentence number two, we have "wir" as nominative, we have "unsere Lehrerin" as dative. And we have the house of Gaben as accusative. In sentence number three, we have Z as nominative. We have Ihren Kindern as dative part, and Eine Karte as accusative. In sentence number four, we have nominative, the pronoun Ihr, Ihren Eltern as dative, and Die Stadt. As accusative. Now, in sentence number five, we have meine Mutter, which is nominative. We have meinen Kindern, which is dative, and ein Märchen, which is accusative.
Hello and welcome to another session of Let's Learn German. I hope you revise the course. Now let us do an exercise where the students would write the answers and also mark the cases in each of the sentences and then we would see if the answers are right or wrong. Let us look at the answers given by the students. Here if you see the first student wrote the correct possessive article meinen based on the pronoun ish and it is the possessive article in plural. Also the second student correctly marked the nominative here which is ish, dative which is meinen kinder and einen atlas which is the accusative. In second sentence, the student correctly wrote the possessive article of dative here eren, deducing it from the noun the professorin which is z, which takes the possessive form eren. And the other student correctly wrote or marked the nominative here for the subject eren studenten as dative and ein experiment as accusative. In sentence number three also here, the student correctly deduced that from mine, my name should be the answer and wrote it here in the dative case and also the other student correctly underlined the nominative and the dative as well as the accusative here. Also as I have told you earlier, accusative need not be a noun, it can be also a sentence which contains a noun like here or just a verb. In sentence number 4, the student correctly understood that from pronoun via the possessive articles needs to be written which she wrote and the other student correctly marked the nominative which is via here, dative which is nachban and accusative which is unser auto. 
In sentence number 5 also, the student correctly identified that from the third person singular pronoun Z, the possessive article needs to be made based on the noun here which is doctor, the doctor, in the article becomes their doctor and the possessive article becomes error. And the student wrote also the correct parts of the sentence here which is nominative for Z, dative era doctor and Einspiel Zeug which is accusative. Here also in sentence number 6, the student correctly deduced from the personal pronoun er that the possessive article needs to be seiner because it is dative and the other student correctly marked the parts of the sentences here where er is the nominative, seiner familia is the dative and chocolade is accusative. Now, before we wind up, let us do another exercise as a part of the revision for possessive article in dative. This is not like the previous exercise. This here is an exercise which consists of nouns and verbs and we are supposed to make correct sentences which includes possessive article in dative. Now, let us look at sentence number 1. Here we have four elements, Eltern, Ich, Ein and Fernseher and the verb Schenken. Now, you know we have the nominative here, here in the form Ich. So, we start the sentence with Ich. Then we need the verb which we conjugate according to the pronoun which you know is the form Ich Schenke. Now, we need the dative element here. Now, you know the dative element here is Eltern, which we write and we need the possessive article for that. Now, possessive article here can be deduced from the pronoun. So, the possessive form of Ich is Mein and the dative is in plural Meinen, Eltern and here we have Einen which is already a signal for accusative. So, we write Einen Fernseher. Again we have four elements, Asha, Freundin, Aina, Email, Schreiben. Now here first of all we have to locate who is the nominative. Here we have Asha as the nominative or the subject. So we begin the sentence with Asha. Now at the second place you know we already always need the verb. We have the verb Schreiben here, we conjugate the verb. And we know that we conjugate the verb according to the third person singular here which is Asha, that is why we have the ending T. Now we need the dative element here. We have the dative noun here which is Freundin which is a female Freund. So we need the personal pronoun Z and from personal pronoun Z we deduce the possessive article ear and in dative ear becomes earer Freundin. Now we need the accusative here which is Einer Email. Now let us look at sentence number three. Here again we have four elements: Kinder, Geben, Wir, Bücher. Now here we need first of all the nominative, which is Bier. We need the verb at the second position which is given here. Now we need the dative element. What is the dative element here? Kinder as the noun and how do we form the possessive article now? For the possessive article we need the pronoun which is via here and from via we take the possessive article unza and since you know in Dati we have always the ending N for noun, so we have Kindern and also the ending Unzeren Kindern and here we have the Bücher which is the accusative.
as you can see constructing sentences from just words in dative using the possessive article is not at all difficult earlier you did an exercise where you wrote the correct possessive article in the blank in this exercise we saw how we can make sentences also so always try to construct sentences apart from writing the correct answer in the blanks both ways of learning are equally beneficial and as well as interesting so i hope this session was interesting for you please revise the contents of the previous session and also learn the conjugation of the verbs the meaning of the verbs the nouns the plural forms as well as the articles and also the articles in dative accusative and nominative and also revise all the contents from the previous session and as i always say of it as in just